Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, Dennis Stojanovsky here. Um, this is a demonstration on the checks required prior to the installation of the Dense Dodge Bespoke Pivot Kit with the clip, with the retaining clip for the rocker. Um, so uh, I'll just go ahead and quickly demonstrate how I go about checking the valve clearances or camshaft or rocker clearance. So um, I have a uh, couple of feeler gauges here. This is a um, 0 0.305 of a mil or 12 thou in the old Imperial. So it's, uh, it's kind of fairly thick, but I mean, it just gives you a demonstration on how to quickly check it prior to removing the rockers and the original pivots. So we'll just go ahead, um, rotate, obviously I have the head off the engine uh, with no timing chain attached. So this is really important that, the, um, that it's carried out correctly uh, so you don't uh, do any damage. But uh, anyway, this makes it easy for me to just demonstrate on what needs to be done. Uh, camshaft rotating nice and freely. Um, I have the cam lobes on the exhaust cam here away from the rockers. So I will go ahead and try to, in, to uh, actually insert this feeler gauge um, with the lobes obviously away from the rocker and uh, it's, it's not gonna go in. Okay, it's fairly tight. And the same on the inlet side. It, um, I have the rocket, the uh, sorry, the cam lobes away on this one as well, away from the um, the actual um, cam lobes. So we have the normal clearance. You might just hear that with me moving the rockers up and down. Um, so twelve thou is a fairly thick feeler gauge, so it's not going to go through. So we'll go ahead and we'll get a, uh, here we go, a sixth hour, and we'll give that a go. Um, so sixth hour, nice and free on the exhaust. So we have at least sixth hour clearance. All right, nice and free. Now I've pre-measured these, so I know what they are. So I'll just go ahead quickly and just demonstrate uh, that the, the right clearance on these which is 10 thou or 0.25. So here's a 10 thou feeler gauge on the exhaust. The exhaust obviously is, that's just nice and firm fit through there. Same on this other valve. So what we'll do is, it's a little bit tighter there, might be just a fraction. Uh, thicker there but yeah no it fits through nicely okay now, I'm not forcing that in there it's just nice fit in there and I'm not going to fit the 12 12 12 thou but the 10 thou goes in nicely on the exhaust 10 thou actually is pretty close to the right clearance um, just a matter of interest like the clearances uh, the Subaru recommend uh, the inlet 0.13 of a mil standard, maximum of 0.15. Uh, and on the exhaust, it's, uh, the standard is 0.22 to maximum 0.24. So we have 0.25 there. It's a little bit more, but look, running a slightly, slightly, and I'm talking just slightly bigger clearance is not a bad idea in my opinion. Um, as long as they're not tight. You don't want to run them tight. So there's 10 thou in that, and obviously 10 thou on the inlet side will not go in still. Still too tight. So uh, the inlet side is 8 thou, so I'll get an 8 thou feeler gauge. There's an 8 thou feeler gauge. All right, or 0.203. And that, just a nice fit through there without having to force it in, and it's not too loose. So on both valves, it's quite good. So I've marked it on the side of the head here of what the clearances are. Eight, 
eight thou for the inlet and 10 and 10 thou for the exhaust. Now this is with the original pivots in there. So it just, uh, this will demonstrate how the bespoke pivot drops in. Generally the clearance should not have to be altered, but it's always very, very important that clearances are set right. So I'll stop this now and I'll pull this apart. I'll just pull the cam box off with the two camshafts. I'll remove the rockers and the original pivots now, and I'll just insert the um, the bespoke pivots with, uh, and this is all carried out now before the rocker clip is inserted. So you don't want to be putting that on to the rocker, putting it all together and then checking clearances. This is important. But the best way to do it is to actually get your clearances right. And the last thing you do is install the rocker clip on the rocker and just put it together. So I'll just quickly zap this off. I only have a couple of bolts holding the cam box in place. So we'll just take these off. And obviously this is a lot easier here because I have the head on the bench. So we just pop that off. So we remove that. So what we're left with here is the rockers. So we pop them and keep these in order away. Like so. We remove the original pivots. Making sure that you don't bump your shims, these shims here, off the head. Okay, so now we install the bespoke rocker pivots, like so. Just as easy as that. Now we install your rockers back into place. So we have the new Dense Dodge Bespoke pivots in place with the rockers, lash adjusters in the same spot. Now I'll just go ahead and refit the cam box. It's a bit hard with me holding the phone, but anyway, just gives you an idea of how easy it actually is when the head is off, like so. We'll go ahead and just put a couple of bolts in the cam box. Making sure your cams are away from your rockers. Put a couple of bolts in. We'll just dip them down. We don't need to tighten it too much. Like so. And again, make sure the rocker has the clearance required underneath it. We pull the cam lobes away from the rockers. Now again, we'll go ahead and try a quick 12 thou feeler gauge in there. No good, no good. Won't go in, won't go in. That's what we expect to see, that's fine. So now we'll get our 10 thou feeler gauge. All right, and we'll try this one. Perfect, perfect, 10 thou. This one's a fraction more, probably 11 thou, but that's okay. You've got 10 thou in here. You could, if you wanted to, just decrease that a little bit, but it's not that important, in my opinion. 10, 11 thou is fine. Um, and then it won't go in on the inlet side because you need them to be a little bit tight at the inlet. So we need them again to be around that 8 thou. There's our 8 thou feeler gauge. Obviously, it's going to be very loose in this side, like so. But in the inlet side, again, it should be nice and firm. Like just, just sliding without any effort. Perfect. So that hasn't changed our clearances at all. Our valve clearances have remained the same. Put in the Dense Dodge bespoke pivots in, which means they're made to spec. Uh, if you'd like to just have a look, I've got a 10 thou here again. That won't go in. And our 8 thou, beautiful. 
and uh, that's pretty much it. Now that's all done. Now we made sure clearances are right. Now we can go ahead and install the dense dodge clip onto the rocker, onto these rockers, um, and then put it together. And don't mix anything up. Keep everything as is and install that.